Since inventing the first hard rock tunnel boring machine more than 60 years ago, the Robbins Company has expanded its capabilities to include small diameter machines for utility tunneling. Today, Robbins offers a full line of small boring units, or SBUs, for both hard rock and mixed ground conditions. Robbins takes into consideration all of the project variables, including ground conditions and crossing length, as well as line and grade requirements before recommending a machine for your project. The Robbins Motorized Small Boring Unit, or SBUM, is an advanced small diameter boring machine that can accurately excavate line and grade sensitive utility crossings in mixed ground and hard rock. This video explains how Robbins SBUMs work and why they are the tool of choice for utility contractors worldwide. The Robbins SBUM is available in diameters from 30 to 78 inches or 760 millimeters to 2 meters and is capable of boring crossings up to and over 500 feet or 150 meters in length. The SBUM is a manned entry tunneling machine that can be used either with a standard auger boring machine or with a pipe jacking system. The SBUM consists of a shield body and circular cutter head. In mixed ground, a variety of cutting tools such as tungsten carbide bits and single or double row carbide cutters can be used. In hard rock, the cutter head is mounted with disc cutters. Disc cutters for the SBUM range from 6.5 inches to 14 inches in diameter and are capable of excavating rock strengths from 4,000 to over 25,000 PSI or 25 to 175 MPA. Here, a 48 inch diameter SBUM is being ready for a 456 feet or 139 meters long road crossing in Clareton, Pennsylvania, USA. The crew is setting up the machine to bore below a large hill. Excavation begins in a launch pit or shaft. This pit measures about 16 feet wide by 40 feet long or 5 meters wide by 12 meters long. The mixed ground cutter head was specially designed for ground consisting of claystone. The cutter head is mounted with 14 single disc cutters 6.5 inches in diameter. Large openings, called muck buckets, are designed to scoop up and transfer muck from the tunnel face. During a push, the SBUM generates torque using an internal drive motor. The ABM generates forward thrust, which is transferred through the casing to the tunnel face. Robbins SBUMs can be used with steel casing or reinforced concrete pipe if required. As the cutter head turns, the disc cutters make contact with the rock face. The cutters move in concentric circles. As the force on the cutter head increases, the rock beneath each cutter is crushed and fractured. Eventually, these fractures meet and rock chips break away from the tunnel face. This process is known as kerf cutting. To steer the SBUM, an operator utilizes articulation cylinders, adjustable from within an operator's console inside the machine's rear shield. Line and grade are monitored throughout the drive using a laser targeting system. Stabilizer pads, seen here as blue circles in each quadrant of the machine shield, are manually adjustable to provide further control of line and grade. Spoils are transferred from the cutter head into an invert auger that runs through the length of the casing. Muck is emptied from a door in the ABM's master pusher. From there, the spoils are removed using a muck skip and crane or muck cars. In diameters below 48 inches or 1.2 meters, spoil is removed using a vacuum line. As the SBUM excavates, new casing lengths are bolted or welded to the previous casing. The ABM generates forward thrust to continue advancing the machine as casing lengths are added. At the end of a bore, the SBUM breaks through and is removed. The primary liner provides a lined tunnel in which to lay the carrier pipe. Robbins SBUs have been proven by hundreds of contractors around the world, from natural gas pipelines in the United Kingdom, to water tunnels in India, to gravity sewers in the USA. Robbins, the most trusted name in tunneling.